was under the impression you and Steve Weber got along, man. Before he started stealing my patients and my ex-girlfriend. Ah, the chief and Doc Lisa, I thought I saw sparks there. I can also see why those two going from making house calls to baby calls has got you jealous. Miss hey, you know what, don't say it. I'm happily married to Robin. He's off on some other kind. Scotch, leave the bottle. There's my keys. Oh, man, Luke! What's up, brother? It's always nice when we get the competition drinking here. Well, thank you. You may see the competition drinking in here a little more often than usual. I am no longer welcome on the Honest Star or anywhere else with my marriage. Well, looks like I'm not the only one with sorrows to drown. meaning to apologize for what all the grief i've given you about holding on to elizabeth maybe i'm doing that with spinelli maybe i'm like fetty's bijan with a bone uh, right now where i'm at in my life i'm probably the last person you should trust for advice but it's obvious that you still love spinelli so if that's the case don't give up you should keep fighting i really hope the two of you make it Maxie Jones, I was about to go out shopping to celebrate the release of Michael Corinthos from incarceration. News that you guys both know about? Yeah, Dante must have made one hell of an argument to that judge, huh? So when I received your hysterical and somewhat cryptic message, I probably should have ignored it, but my curiosity got the best of me. Oh, well, I'm actually really sorry I dragged you away from the mall. Well, well, why did you? What could we possibly discuss since in our last one and only substantial conversation you lied through your teeth and purchased yourself? You're right. That is my mistake. I will let you get back to your clearance racks. Uh, I got a photo in the mail, and it was from Franco. Well, you have my full attention. Show me this photo and tell me everything that connects you to Franco. lost her umbrella. Ah, oh, honey. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get further than a block before my battery died. Uh, well, uh, looks like you were out there for quite a while, though. Yeah, listen, here. I actually am half a mechanic, so if you want me, I, I can uh, take a look at it for you. Oh, thanks. That's sweet. Um, I already took a look. Timing belt broke. I was going to call Auto Club, but then I dropped my cell phone in a puddle. It's a bad day. <laughs> Rain supports, <laughs> right? Bad joke, um, but at least it got a smile. Look, I actually know a guy with a, a tow truck, so why don't you go upstairs? There's a laundry room. You can dry yourself off, and uh, I'll give him a call. You're a prince. <laughs> we both want what's best for your brother. Yeah, but we're pretty far apart on what that is. Well, well maybe we can find middle ground. I mean, you brought your brother home tonight. That's a, that's a great thing. I thought that we could just, you know, us three figure things out. What do Mike, you do? My, Michael, do you, do you know why the judge doesn't want you seeing your father? He blames my dad for the cover-up of Claudia's murder. I understand. It wasn't murder, Michael. It was self-defense. He doesn't want me to be like my dad. Okay, and neither do I. Yeah, but you, you and the judge can tell me what to do, but you can't tell me how to feel. Look, Dad, I love you very much, but... That is not going to change, whether I see you or not. If Sonny loved you as much as he says he does, he would try and distance you from his life as much as he Dante, possibly could. Why can't you ever see me in a good light? What? You always see me in a bad light. Why can't you try and make this easy for once? Why can't you actually try and help Michael by doing the right thing? Do you have any idea the kind of hell that I'm living in right now? I don't care what you say. I'm not, I'm never gonna stop loving my children. And whether you like it or not, that includes you.